What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know, we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, a.k.a. take the words and visuals back to prayer with God, as there are many Decepticons running around here sent from these end times. All right. Had a strong, close and personal relationship with God, as it's very important. So spiritual gifts, you guys. God wanted me to give a word on spiritual gifts and capitalize off of the word that I did that God was getting me to tell you that many of you are gifted. Right. But many of you ask, how do I get there? How do I understand it? And it's a process. OK, it's a process. And for me. What I did was I asked a lot of questions. I wrote them down. I asked a lot of questions like about my life. So I'm going to give you guys what I did. OK, this is what I want to do. I wrote questions down about my life, my friends, people in it, my concerns, anything about blessings that you need confirmation on. And, you know, I prayed about it. So I sat into prayer first, prayed to God, gave him how I feel about things. Um, and just went from there. And the next thing you knew, I heard the Lord's voice, but that was because I seeked him diligently every day. Okay. And part of mastering those spiritual gifts is you have to learn. Many people have this struggle where they're asking a lot of people things, but your, your journey isn't going to be the same as somebody else's, right? So you have to learn how to move with God in isolation and figure out how he communicates with you personally, okay? Um, it's okay to listen to messages. If you have a question about something after you've went to prayer, don't go to somebody first, go to after you've went into prayer. Then if God confirms to you that he wants you to do that and that's okay, or he leads you to who he wants you to do it, um, to ask those questions to, then... OK, but always seek God first. That's what you got to get into the habit of doing with every single aspect of your life. So, you know, if you're going through demonic strongholds that's holding you backwards, what you want to do, fasting is important because it breaks strongholds. It really does. Like, you know, sometimes people want to feed their flesh because of the way that this demonic spirit is making them feel. You might want to drink. You might want to smoke. It makes you do things. So when you fast, it breaks the dependability on whatever the demonic spirit is using to feed your flesh, right? So even with entertainment, God had me cut all that stuff off and I moved in isolation. And I, when I tell you, I broke all strongholds, I broke them. And God helped me do it. And I would never forget God giving me like this deliverance. I'm telling you, angels was there. It was Michael there. I knew it. Um, Jesus was there. I, I know it because of the presence and how powerful it was. I was praying to God to remove whatever was trying to attach itself to me and bring old things back. And the sun got brighter. Y'all like coming through the window brighter and I could feel the burn in the spirit like as if the whatever demonic entity was trying to make me feel a certain way got burned off of me it was like a deliverance or a form of I don't even know how to explain it and I felt the change happen inside like it was no longer there instantly gone it was this powerful burn in the spirit not hurting but very powerful i was like whatever was trying to attach itself to me is no longer in presence because they got rid of it <laughs> so you know man it was huge and i just thank god every day for just being there for me you know but it's your journey that you have to spend time with god in in order to master your gifts like for me with the dreams and visions I didn't dream every day, you know, at first, but 
my curiosity, I ask God questions and he loves them. And I begin to receive dreams and visions more so, right? Um, even a year before I became a messenger, I asked God about what the end times would look like. And he showed me everything I asked him. He gave the answer to not always through dreams. Sometimes with YouTube, he would put titles of videos in my recommended. And those videos would keep popping up and popping up and popping up until I looked at them. Even things that I was struggling with will pop up out of nowhere. And I'm like, OK, you want me to watch this? This is how you communicate with me. Right. Um. So, yeah, fast forward a year later, as, as I'm in my journey, you know, the Lord began to give me my first true vision, like, well, that I knew and recognized I was having a vision. I'm sure it wasn't my first one, but very noticeable. Like, I felt the power in it. It was the power of the vision that was different. And it made it was so powerful. I wasn't used to it in the spirit that I had to, like, lay down. It felt like a physical world headache, but it wasn't. It was more in a spiritual form if i can explain it that way i don't really know how to put it but yeah i had to get used to my gift and god eased me into visions and then I, as he began to trust me with more responsibility he gave me more dreams and i will never forget like when november hit i started having dreams every day because that's when i knew that i had upgraded in the spirit he could trust me with more responsibility and so Ever since then, I had a dream every day, whether it be God, whether it be the enemy trying to cause confusion and tempt me, like all of it is important to pay attention to, you know, whether you're a healer, whether you're you have a prophet, pastor slash street preacher, teacher, um, evangelist, anything like God will take the time with you to teach you about your gift. And it's going to be hard. It's going to take times. It's going to be the hardest walk you ever walk in your life. Do you understand? There's no run in this. There's all the walk with God. And you're going to have to slow it down a lot to be able to see things that you don't normally get to see. So those questions are very important because before I moved into the journey, God got my worries, my struggles. He took care of all of that and left it at the door. So God's going to tell you, hey, whatever you got going on before this journey, I need you to bring it to me and we're going to leave it at the door and slam the door on it so we can move forward. So he can move with you into the new things, right? Your gift. So ask those questions fast. Pray a lot. I prayed every day, every night. And then when the Lord began to speak to me, I still prayed every day, every night. But I spent pretty much all day, every day with him. Like, no joke. I couldn't talk to anybody else because they wouldn't understand, uh, wouldn't understand, right? But, you know, God told me, be quiet about what you do, because that's the fastest way for people to put you out of position and what I'm trying to position you in. The devil will use other people's misunderstanding in your situation. It, it, it's going to cause harm to you. So be quiet and just do what I'm asking you to do and tell me what's on your mind, because they won't understand, you know, family, friends. And again, like people will try to put their own family away for spiritual gifts because they think it's crazy because the world has taught them that it's crazy. And it takes me back. And I'm going to have to do another word about the, the truth about psychology, because when I did it. Um, it was way at the beginning and I don't want to re-upload it. I want to leave that there, but do it in a more in-depth way, because. The spiritual and physical world need to come together for understanding. But anyway, it's just, it's crazy at the beginning. Some of my favorite parts of the journey with God is the beginning. Because it's like those training wheels that he gives you, right? He, It's like he really does baby you because you're a baby in the spirit. But, you know... It was some of my favorite moments because it was a lot of things that I was new to that I had never seen before. And those are going to be your most memorable moments. The beginning, every part of the journey you're going to remember, but the beginning, oh, my goodness. And just having that power to beat the devil like that through God and Archangel and Michael. It's like a lot of things that you're going to experience that you won't forget. Right. But God's going to ease you into everything. So you have to have that patience with the Lord. And many of you are going to be walking into the seasons that I was in, like at the very beginning of God exploiting your gifts to you. So that you can see the strengths and weaknesses in you to strengthen everything. Um, 
and exploit the weakness of the enemy over your life. Y'all get what I'm saying? So you go ahead and ask those questions. I recommend y'all write it down. Um, I I wouldn't say, I mean, if you have to put it in your phone, yes, but I would recommend you just write it down because if somebody send you a message or something, you know, people get distracted. Put that down, put that away, and just write your questions down. And when I tell you, it was like listening in the spirit when God was answering the questions. I heard, sit up, my child. And I'm like, oh, how you doing? <laughs> I didn't, what? I thought I was going crazy. But for real, like, sit up, my child. I sat up. And I, he began to answer my questions and I would write them down. And we did this every night. I, it was our thing. I loved it. Um, so what it was like, of course, it's a voice and it's a very recognizable voice. It's unique. OK, you know, it's God and nobody else sound like that. It has a powerful yet calming, soothing voice. It's so beautiful. And. It can be very light. It's not like super loud all the time. Sometimes it comes through very clearly when you upgrade in the spirit. Sometimes it's just very light. Sometimes it's just a mental download, you know. And so what you do is you you stop. That's why God has to get you together because you can't be sitting up there worrying and, and thinking about things. No, you need to put your thoughts away, relax your body into prayer and just listen in the spirit. It's almost like listening into your head. Right. So for those that understand and then it, the downloads come through. The downloads come through. And you you begin to develop thoughts that don't didn't come from you. And it may come with the voice a lot of times. So that's what it's like. And I, was, I used to say, God, speak through me, write through me. I was writing, but you know what? I, at the time, being at the beginning of my journey, I just let God take over. And he answered all my questions. I wrote them all down. I can send y'all... Uh, send y'all. I'm gonna put that picture of the questions. It's all over the place because I would write like crazy in different colors, ink, all that stuff. Uh, yeah. So you, yeah. But I kept this piece. Excuse me. But I kept this piece of paper to remind myself of the beginning. And this is literally, ugh, this is it right here. Like he answered the mess out these questions. <laughs> So, especially when it comes to the devil, God let me hear the devil. Because I remember sitting in prayer one time and God let the devil come through to see if he could trick me. And I heard the voice and the voice of the devil sounds like a mockery of God. It really does. He was, he was like, hello, my child. Like, I knew it wasn't God. And I said, it's like, hello, my child. Like, it wasn't like the stern, peaceful voice of God. And I said, no, nah, who that? <laughs> you got to get up out of here. The devil, you got me messed up. And then all I heard in the spirit was, no, no, no. Y'all, the devil be going crazy. He be, he's like, no, no. He loses his mind. And then I said, God, Father, what was that? He says, well, I had to test you to see if you could tell the difference between my voice and Satan's. That's what he said. He said, and you pass. And then I heard God tell the devil to get out of here. Now get out of here. It was so funny. That was funny. But then we continued on with our questions again. But you're going to have to pass the test on your own. Nobody can give you discernment, but God can strengthen the discernment and give you the gift. Right. So while you go into people, you got to understand that sometimes you can't be going to people. These are tests you need to pass alone with God in order to be confident in your gift. You have to do that on your own with God, okay? Because then when you start telling too many people about your things in your isolation season, the devil can use that to trick you. So don't do it, especially if you don't have great discernment. Just stick to God and be patient and pay attention to your everyday life and sit still because it's going to be brought to you the answers and confirmation. It's, you have to sit still. You have to sit in prayer, okay? People move too much and too antsy. You got to slow down. And that's why God pulled me out of everything. Because, you know, if you somebody that ain't in the situation that can't be pulled out of everything right now, I get it. That's that's not my journey. That's yours. You get what I'm saying? You have to ask God how he's going to do that for you. And uh, yeah, so you really got to slow down and just sit down and take time out with God. It's so important. 
and yeah, like he for me, he would use YouTube titles and videos. And he see when he's teaching you about what you're gonna be, he led me to prophets, teachers, street preachers, pastors. Uh, he's led me to evangelists, every type of person out there for me, you know. And he didn't lead me to everybody that was of him, but people that could resonate the best with me. People, prophets that did rhema words, personal words, prophets that went over things of the world. Like God was trying to, to show me like, this is what it's looking like when you do what I'm gonna have you do. So he's gonna use other people as, as example to help you learn how to do what you're gonna do. And that's part of how I learned as well. God would teach me, give me words. Sometimes in my, uh, on the other channel, I would use references of other people to put it with what God told me because at the time I, I didn't know a lot of scripture. So God was slowly teaching me scripture with each word through each message. So I learned so much just by walking into assignments to the point where I graduated and understood how God graduated the training phase, understood how God wanted to roll with me and operate. And, you know, we've been doing what we've been doing ever since then. So it's going to require you to understand a lot about yourself with God and you're going to have to sit down. OK, and it's OK to ask questions when allowed to to the right people. Don't just ask anybody. Ask God to lead you to somebody or ask him, you know, who should I watch? You know, even with the people you watch, is this a person that. So if you're somebody that ain't watching people, you should be OK. God will lead you to people. Just don't search anything. But if you are somebody that watches everybody, you need to pray over everybody if you haven't. And ask God who is for you and who is not, because even though they might be from God, they may not be for you to watch because they can't they're not giving words for you to resonate from. They don't fit you the best. Also, people might be false. So you don't want to follow the wrong person and start giving your information out to the enemy servants. OK, super important. And the last thing I'm going to end off here is I did an evaluation with him. You know, God gave me an evaluation personally to do at the end of the year. And sometimes I'm not saying wait to the end of the year now. Sometimes ask God, you know, what would you how would you evaluate me right now? Like it was a lot of good. It was a lot of things I needed to work on. And God said, either way it goes through this evaluation, you got to a your pass because you walk with me. You know, we always going to have things that we have to work on. He was asking me questions like, who is your favorite uh, content creator that I've led you to? Who helped you the most? Literally, like he was, I was getting asked evaluation type questions. Who did you learn the most from? What was your favorite message that you did with me so far? Like that was really cool. And God will take that feedback and look, okay, you know. Um, that was so cool. I still have that evaluation, which I'm not going to put up because it's personal. But um, yeah, like. Just take time out with God and you will learn a lot. And we can do more about this stuff with the spiritual gifts to help you out. You know, I ask God, you know, can, what can we do with that? And he giving me these ideas. So, yeah. But anyway, that's the end of this message. Peace and blessings. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.